So we're going to show you how to floss with a regular floss threader and floss. So the one thing I like to do is I like to tie my regular floss on my threader so it doesn't constantly come out of the loop as you're going through and flossing your patient. It'll help you save a lot of time in the long run. One other thing you can do, you can curl it. So you just use your thumbnail like you're going to curl ribbon. And you just kind of curl it a little bit. That'll just help guide it in the molar region a little bit easier. When you floss the anteriors, instead of coming up and kind of poking your threader into the gingiva, come down away from the gingiva. And the biggest complaint I hear from hygienists is how long it takes, so they just don't even floss the ortho patients. But the more you do it, the faster you'll get. You'll get a little bit of practice. But I'd recommend just toughing it out those couple of patients, getting a good feel of how to floss ortho. Then it'll make your patients very happy how thorough you are. Same thing on the end here, on the bottom. Just come up away from the gingiva. And if they have a kind of a little space, sometimes I'll just go straight through the teeth. Is that not a let me? The hardest part with flossing ortho is if the patient has a lot of inflammation underneath the brackets. At this point, I always will use my cotton tip to help grab the floss threader to get around that inflamed gingiva. And then I just you just do the best you can. Sometimes there's so much gingiva that you can't even get your floss threader through. So hopefully your scaling has disrupted the biofilm enough that it'll start to heal. So especially in the molars, but I'm going to show you up here on an anterior tooth to make it a little bit easier to see. I like to floss it between the teeth. And then if I can't reach with my fingers because it's really tight, I'll grab a cotton plier and just help pull it through. And then you're just going to floss as you normally do with your C-shape. 